Old Gray Cemetery, incorporated in 1850, is the resting place of William G. Brownlow, Tennessee governor and U.S. senator, as well as two other U.S. senators, eight U.S. congressmen, 26 mayors of Knoxville, and numerous ambassadors, judges, editors, artists, authors, educators, military leaders, physicians, and industrialists. Old Gray Cemetery is the second oldest cemetery in Knoxville, Tennessee. More than 9,000 people have been buried at Old Gray Cemetery since its establishment of 1850. There is a large diversity of people in the cemetery through its 150-year history. Old Gray Cemetery received its name in honor of Thomas Gray, a famous English poet from the 1700s. In 1996, the cemetery was added to the National Register of Historic Places. It is located in downtown Knoxville occupying 13 acres of beauty and history. People are invited to take a stroll or drive through to see its history. Old Gray Cemetery reflects Knoxville's Civil War history. The Civil War brought maintenance problems for the cemetery. In September 1864, after having failed to obtain any aid in erecting a fence around the property from the military authorities it was deemed advisable to build a temporary wooden fence to prevent any damage to the grounds. However, the fence was considered worthless and wasn't built due to the troops using the grounds to camp. The first person buried in Gray Cemetery was William Martin. He was 23 years old at the time of his death due to a cannon explosion on July 4, 1851. Parson Brownlode was a prominent person throughout Virginia and Tennessee. Serving as the governor of Tennessee, in 1867 and elected to the U.S. Senate in the year of 1869. General Mabry was a well-known Knoxville businessman. He earned his fortune through land and railroad speculation during the 1850s and was known throughout the South for his herd of race horses. He was killed in the Gay Street shooting involving himself, his son, and Thomas O'Connor in 1882. Thomas O'Connor was the president of Mechanics Bank and was one of the richest men in the state of Tennessee. His death was due to the shooting he was involved in on Gay Street in 1882. On September 25, 2011 Old Gray Cemetery will hold a lantern and carriage tour. Through reenactors, visitors will have the opportunity to meet some of the storied occupants of the cemetery.